What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I am Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Feats and Beats. I'm Dustin. Oh, shit. He's real. I exist. There he is, folks. Uh, what's first on the agenda, boys? Stop. Stop. Cheers. Is yeah. So we got a new format here, Danny. To let everybody in on the what we're doing here. Yeah, we're just changing it up, you know. Uh, we're going to uh, a little bit of a different format, you know. So yes, sir. I think this is going to be uh, moving forward. This is a little bit more what it will, will look like, you know. Yeah, so uh, full disclosure, we did test this last week, and it didn't work completely. So we did clip out a little clip of Rob talking about his move to Texas, which is why we're doing this like this now. And uh, that will be up as a separate little like three minute clip on a uh, YouTube and TikTok and our Instagram. So you guys can check that out to see what it is that we talked about when it comes to Rob leaving to Texas. So how's it going in Texas, Rob? Oh, yeah. it's fucking great. Lively, colorful, <laughs> as you can see. Right? You green, fucking huh? rave over there? What's going on? Trying to. Uh, uh, right. No, it's all, it's all good over here. That's what's up. All right, so I figured the obvious first subject of this uh, podcast today would be to introduce Dustin to everybody, right? That would be <laughs> yeah. that would make the most sense. Dustin, inquiring minds want to know what that dick do. Go. Not a lot. <laughs> Small. Who cares? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself, brother. Let the let the people know. Ah, uh, I'm Dustin. I play guitar sometimes, or whatever they need me to. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't have a whole <laughs> lot right now. What do you want to know? What is, what is something that yeah. someone might want to know? Ask this guy a question. You know, yeah, I got a question for you. How new to me? I'm not. Uh, I'm not used to this, so this will be fun to get used to. He's like, "What do I do with my hands?" He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> uh, I mean, how, how, about, how the... about this one? How about uh, favorite band? Go favorite what? That's not Fa- band. favorite band. Favorite band? Okay, Slipknot. Oh, Slipknot. Slipknot. Oh, yeah. Awkward tattoo. Nice. nice. Since day one. For that. That's dope. Me, I'm older. But yeah. <laughs> you went to a show so, uh, uh, last night, right? Yeah. Saw Infectious Grooves, uh, which actually has Slipknot's recently gone drummer, Jay, in it. And, uh, but it was awesome. I got to see Robert Trujillo, one of my, my heroes. When I, I started on... Um, bass once i got the string instruments i play i started on bass and robert trujillo was one of my big inspirations back in the uh early 2000s uh learning so it was great to see him do what he does live and so close nice that's and dope. I, I, don't, I don't have to see metallica now so we're good <laughs> <laughs> that's an upside i mean in my in my and from my point of view that's an upside <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so what's on the what's on the agenda there uh danny what are we talking about next uh, well, I think uh, we got a, a new single dropping soon, right? That is correct. Yep. Uh, fine, I do it myself. Drops four twenty, guys. Uh, we do we have a pre save link for that yet, Danny? I think so. I got an option. Okay, that cool. Too. Well, as yeah. soon as we know that our pre save is available, it'll be up. We always appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, pre saving our shit. It really helps the algorithm. It helps Spotify recognize that people want to hear us and push our music towards them. So it's cool. Right. Yeah. So I want to talk a little bit about P. Diddy, dude. <laughs> What's going on with P. Diddy up in this uh, <laughs> up in this right now? I, who, I would just who knows? My who knows? Does anybody know a lot about this or what's happening? Uh, he's a bad boy for life. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Here he goes. I, I've been yeah, I've been it, kind it, of hearing I've been kind of hearing that I heard I heard from somebody something about uh pictures and a shower and stuff and it was pretty wild that was i i think that was drake i didn't was drake. is that what it was all i know is oh, he man. has those lyrics he has those lyrics that say we ain't going nowhere but i read recently like a couple hours ago that his private plane just left the u.s and is in the bahamas somewhere homie dip oh, dude what yeah. well this is first out. plane dip yeah what happened what was that bro this, this is personal plane dip Right? Like, uh, they said they were tracking his plane. They don't know if he's on it or not. I'm like, don't I fucking track his plane? Like, track his ass. <laughs> but, 
uh, I think the best part is, is 50 Cent has been calling this out for years now. And so <laughs> he's he's probably sitting back just rolling. Yeah, I would imagine so. I don't know. I was reading this like, well, not reading it. I saw it on a, I think it was TikTok. It was like this conspiracy theory about like how everybody on the record label that started dying off, like P. Diddy had something to do with it or something like that. I don't know. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I heard I heard some dude that was working with him and hired to take photos and stuff. Like he was taking photos and P. Diddy wound up in a shower and he was like spreading his butt cheeks open and shit. Welcome to prison. <laughs> Kitty, man. That's, that's the bullshit I, I heard somebody talking about. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Bro, if you're gonna take I mean, like shower pictures, that's fine. But to spread them, bro? You're gonna spread them, dude? Like, that's what that's what I was hearing. It was pretty crazy. I was like, it's just yeah, to me, it's kind of funny because there's there's always that? been that East Coast West Coast thing, you know. And it's mm -hmm. the other night I saw Dr. Dre get his his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and then you see this happening with D Diddy, and it's like, well, well, I'll I show guess, you my I brown guess star. West Coast spread my butt cheeks in there. Check this star out. Look, <laughs> they've been oh, missing shit. you. So, so yeah, oh. there's P Diddy. Never been a fan of P Diddy. More West Coast. Nah, I just can't say in general. And then supposedly, I think they were saying something about uh, he could even have ties to Biggie's death because Biggie was supposed to be leaving his label, and that's why his last record took so long. And now they're looking into that angle where, because like how you had stated, once he's done with you, he basically makes sure he takes you out of the picture. So that could be interesting to find out if that's true. Is, yeah, does he like, take you out of the same the picture with his booty hole? No, jeez. So we got to go there. <laughs> Sorry. Got an idea. I, I got an idea for our next photo shoot, guys. <laughs> oh, no holes. No holes. <laughs> Hear me out. It's not a gear, but a bubble <laughs> with an anarchy symbol. <laughs> Who's got the biggest uh, talent? Right? Yeah, this oh, goes shit. right up there with your would you rather the fart on the forehead or whatever, the butthole on the forehead. That'd be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Just I forgot about that one. All right, let's get a picture of everyone's forehead booty hole. Everybody's forehead booty hole, dude? Yeah, man, that's wild. Um, I got a big I wanted, I wanted to talk a little bit. <laughs> I, I wanted to talk a little bit about Gore again really quick because I thought it was really cool. Haley, I know your name now. Hi, how you doing? Uh, I thought it was really cool that uh, – you know, that she shared out our clip that we have our, of us talking about her and stuff like that and talking about the uh, basement dwelling fan base that happens every once in a while, you know? <laughs> so, what um, you got? Did you guys see that they're coming out with a Static X movie? No. About the band? Uh, like a documentary? or Like, like a documentary or a movie movie? Yeah, it's like a documentary that talks about, like, the birth, the death, and the resurrection of... Is he Jesus? No, no, well, have you seen Static X now? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's weird. That's what I was saying. Like, is it like, I kind of, I mean, that's cool that it's a documentary, but I kind of want to see like a movie where he's just like robot Static X dude, just fucking war about when Static just murdering foals and shit. I think it'd be dope. <sighs> Terminator style. But isn't his name Zero? Is that his, is that his name? The character, yeah, well, who's supposed the, to be. Yeah. You think it'd be like X, right? Yeah, but he, he went with zero apparently, or but isn't it zero with an X? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's, uh, uh, you're saying he should have went. You're saying he should have went with X is really funny because I never even thought of that. Yeah, he should have went with X. Like, <laughs> like it was right there, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> no, and, uh, I, I don't know, man. I I'm kind of impartial to the whole thing. Like, I remember uh, Static X. From back in the day when they started, I've seen him at the Glass House, and you know, you see him at these clubs, you know, the Roxy, and it's like, okay, cool. You see that progression. You see him on Ozfest, cool, even better. And then you see members fall out, members switch, and I've played shows with different lineups, even back when they still had Trip, and it was like, oh, um, but then the rest of the members fall out and it's just Wayne carrying it on and they don't, you know, it's kind of like a Yoko Ono type situation. And then he passes and then the band continues on. It, it's a, it's a little weird. I don't know. 
So I'm going to ask a question because I don't really know too much about Static X, but who is it that does this Zero character? Is he like it's, in other projects? Yeah, That's, he's the lead singer of Dope. Yeah, yeah, if you if you're being honest, yeah, he's saying it's not him, but yeah, it's Edzil Dope. It, it's it's Edzil Dope, dude. It's uh, keep, keeping the kayfabe alive, Rob. <laughs> Is that what he's doing? And it's like it's too not obvious me, because like, he sounds like him, and then they happen to always be on tour together. Yeah, so it's, homies just up there writing two sets. That's crazy. Well, it's kind of like the, uh, I, I guess if you would say, if Limp Biscuit died, the lead singer of Head PE probably would have came in. You know what I'm saying? Where yeah. like, the, like having the the project band that was supposed to be a mimic of this band now comes in and is the singer of the band. Yeah. Does that make sense? No, not not too much. But yeah, <laughs> you know how when they came out with Backstreet oh, no. Boys. There's in sync, you know. <laughs> if you Jesus have, better be proud. you better be careful right now. I, I know, Jesus... but, but they'll they'll put out one project, and if one's really good, another label will put out another one similar. So you have Slipknot that came out, and everyone's like, "Fuck yeah!" And then they're like, uh, "Mushroom Head," and you're like, "No, Slipknot. No, but Mushroom Head's good. Yeah, but it's not Slipknot." You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's always like this balance of who's who's the uh, better product, and they're always trying to hey, push who, one. Who was first, Mushroom Head or Slipknot? Mushroom Head. I thought it, I thought it was Mushroom yeah. Head. It was Mushroom, mushroom Head. head. Well, the beef is they wore masks first before Slipknot did, okay. so okay. They, they were saying that Slipknot <laughs> ripped off their idea of masks. <clears throat> Yeah, but at this point now, is it isn't it just kind of like a free for all at this point? You just do a mask if you want to do a mask, and you know, at this point, right. what are you gonna do? Sit around and go like, well, now you're copying this band after 400 bands have already done it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And like they were they were saying that it was always just the fans that had issues. Like the bands were all cool with each other, and it yeah, was right. just the, the fans that were making a big deal, and they're like, I don't give a shit. This toxic yeah. fandom, dude. That happens. Tell you, yeah. didn't, hey, Rob, didn't we get wait, a? Wait. Go, go ahead, Danny. What were you no, gonna no, say? You go ahead. Go for it. Okay, You're good. go for it. Uh, okay. Go. Um, I think we were gonna talk about the same thing. Uh, that I t <laughs> we got a hater on TikTok. That's <laughs> exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. So, so I posted uh, the teaser today that everybody saw, and uh, somebody leaves a comment. Some he doesn't even follow us. He had like 15 followers. I'm like, okay, and he leaves a comment. He's like. I know that uh, this is one thing that I'm not going to be sparking up on 420. <laughs> I, like, I love it. Oh, these, yeah, you don't, you don't even like, have to stop in here. Just go. I could see if it was like a fan and was the, just didn't like the song. was like, oh, I wish you guys would go back to your old stuff. You know, or whatever the fuck. You know, like some weird shit that fans always say. You know, like, like, <laughs> but like old stuff. We're still putting out stuff. Exactly. That's stuff. why it's funny. Like, that's why it's funny. It's still the first album. It's people, all, it's like, all if you don't stuff. like it now. Uh, yeah, you, just, just hang on, like, just stay hating. Like, I want you to keep hating because eventually I, I, we'll get you. Exactly. It's, it's, like, uh, it's going to be a, a Nickelback type oh, case. You know what I'm saying? Great. Nickelback or Creed? Go, Danny, you first. Nickelback or Creed? You know what's funny is you sent me a TikTok the other day, and it was like it was like a Nickelback song with Creed vocals. Yeah, and I couldn't figure out which fucking one was Creed and which one was Nickelback. It really confused you, right? It confused the shit out of me too. I sat there and I was like, I can't. I don't know the answer to this. Like, I don't know this. I gotta hear so, the song. Um, what is your preference? I guess I would say Creed without their vocalist, and you could just throw in Nickelback's vocalist, and I think I would be happy. <laughs> no cheating, dude. That. Yes, which I one didn't would make any have? rules. <laughs> Nickelback, Creed, or Alter Bridge, and you're like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll take. All right, Rob, you next. You next, Rob. Uh, one hundred percent on this one. I will take Nickelback. Dustin, I'm gonna have to say Creed only because uh, Tremonti's signature guitar. Mm. Josh, what you got? I'm gonna have to go with Creed just because I am an Alter Bridge fan. So, uh, yeah, man, dude, 
I'm going to be honest with you, man. It's, that's a tough one, man. I I love both of those bands. Um, I do think I am going to have to lean on the Creed side, though. Yeah. All right, guys. That's They're doing shows again, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, listen, I fucking they're doing mind. they're doing but, shows again, right? Yeah, Creed's doing a Creed's touring right now. So I I'm saw a video of Scott Stapp on stage, and there's like a bunch of dudes with their shirts off in just the a bunch of bros. And yeah. And he's yeah, he, yes, yeah, so he's that. literally oh, just yeah, singing yeah. to them, and it's great. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's that one last breath song, and like he's serenading yep. them from the front of the stage, and they're just like, yep. no it's shirts amazing. on, rowing it out. Yeah, so yeah. we're doing reach, and that happens. Did I? I'm down it's to different. see some titties. It don't green. matter. It don't matter whose titties they are. We're we're not green. That's how you know we made it. You get yeah, a bunch right? of dudes shirtless. Just get everyone topless at our shows. That's our goal. Let's go. That's what's up. The last days Man. of shirts. There's only right. there's only one yeah. goal, man. It's to make the booty shake, you know. <laughs> Breathe in it. The guy boobies. We're all married. I'm, married. I'm allowed to look. <laughs> you can look. You can look. Fuck, it's look, just a nipple. Fill us, in, fill us in, Dustin. Take... Fill us in. Huh? Fill us in. <laughs> I was like, you take a look and let us know. Describe them to us. <laughs> I mean, I'm taking. So I I can't really anyway. But do you have a to go menu? <laughs> oh man, forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, that's good. Uh, Lakers. Something about the Lakers? Uh, Lakers just scored 150 points the other day. In a game? Is that a, lot? Is that a single game? No, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. It's a, it's a good amount. Okay. Let's, now, let's say it, it like this. If it like was, collectively if it was, or? If it was in sync, it would have been all members. You know what I'm saying? That's On the stage up. together. So it's like that. That happened. Oh, and I'm sad I didn't there? get to go to it. <laughs> Go sports team. Go sports yeah, team, sports. dude. What's your favorite sport? Go. Uh, well, sleep. You, you and you guys are wrestling, right? <laughs> what did he say? He said sleep. sleep. All right. Go, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, you yeah, sports sure, team. That's, a, that's a sport. So the obvious one would be, uh, for us, would be wrestling. But for the people that are like, right. that's not a sport. I once had fun at a hockey game. So I'll say hockey. That was it. Oh, <laughs> once. <laughs> once. <laughs> what about you josh One you sports? um i'd have to say hockey as well because i used to play hockey up until i had my kids so it would be hockey and hockey games are a lot of fun that sounds like a serious injury <laughs> it's crazy how long i've known josh and i can still find out something new about him every time we hang out <laughs> it's like okay yeah, yeah really, i used to really play hockey brings the little king's cooler like yeah, what the fuck, man? <laughs> that thing's with like, me every week. I know he reps the Kings. But, yeah. <laughs> that, that is true. To be fair, I forgot the Kings were a hockey team. So <laughs> that's all good. I can't name any you know, of your wrestlers. Uh, you got so we're good. You watch nothing. I can't. Well, I used to play baseball. Uh, I had a lot of okay. fun, but watching it, dude. I I went to a Dodger game with because my sister's birthday one time, and I was the asshole that was reading. Yeah, yeah I'm all I'm all base baseball football, you know. So, Rob, other than wrestling, go. Uh, baseball, go Doyers, and uh, hockey. Hey, go Kings. Speaking of the, go Kings, the go. Dodgers, um, did you guys hear about that uh, that Otani thing with all the gambling I wasn't going to bring it up. Uh, no, can you translate for me? Yeah, go for it. No, no, don't, don't. <laughs> It'll no. cost you like four million dollars if you do that. <laughs> Wait, so what? Yeah. So what all happened? Fill me in. What what happened? So Shohei Otani had a translator for a number of years, and I guess I guess they've been friends, and some kind of a gambling thing came up, and they're saying that the translator guy, I guess, stole it. But then some people are like, it might be Shohei that's gambling. So I think he was supposed to have a press conference today, but I didn't hear anything about it. But he's all that PDD playing going on. Right, he's on the plane with PD going, now. <laughs> going well, to Bahamas. So what? What supposedly is going on is his translator was in debt, and so Otani is wire transferring him um, about half a million dollars, two two payments of half half a million dollars, and they're like, okay. uh, "Red flag, what's going on? Where are these going?" 
and he's just, I'm helping my friend clear his debts. That's all. Well, what are his debts from? From gambling. They're not even baseball related. And now they're looking into it and he's already been fired. So there's a whole big mess going on with it. Now they're seeing how much involvement Otani actually has. With it. Right. That's interesting. Now, so now he's without it. Someone translating. It's just like, oh, fuck me. Like, poor guy. Like, welcome to the team. You're the, one of the highest paid players. We're looking forward to you being on our team. Thanks for fucking it up. Now we're going to investigate the shit out of you. Like, that's fuck. pretty much, yep, yeah, that's it. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Good luck, Google Translate. <laughs> Damn it. He's like, dude, translate this. We Where's so my close. fucking money? So close. <laughs> oh, damn. But, uh, do you want to do the, the music review, Danny? Sure, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, the song is called uh, Don't Look Away by The Plot and You. And, uh, yeah, did anybody I, get a chance to listen to that? I did. I loved it. But I, I just recently discovered The Plot and You like a few months ago. And uh, okay. they're awesome, man. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. So, what did you think? I like it, man. It's heavy. It's uh, it's got the melodic stuff. I I love everything I've heard from that band, pretty much. So yeah, they have a you, some you other stuff. Out, just one more time. I said, Josh, you you checked it out, right? Oh yes, I did. Um, I liked it a lot. It reminds me of Alpha Wolf meets Devil Wears Prada. Like the vocals, the tone, the way he screams is a little different, but the music is really, really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rob, did you get a chance to hear it? I dug it. Uh, I, I'm not as familiar with those bands as Josh is, so that kind of like, ooh. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. This is different. So I, I dug it a lot. Yeah. Dustin, did you get a chance to hear it or no? I heard it. Um, I'll have to sit down and listen to it again. I was listening in uh, Southern California traffic, so it wasn't paying that much attention. <laughs> But I I liked what I heard though. I can't wait to sit down and really kind of listen to more more of the song and more of their other stuff. Yeah, yeah. They also have uh, some like so that was like I would consider that a harder side of them. Uh, this this song, and then they have other yeah. like kind of like ballady type stuff too that really hits really well as well. They got it across the board. <clears throat> if you're looking for something like that, it's really good. And then the other song was Far Side. What'd you say it was? Far yeah, side, it's uh, far side. Vended. Vended. Vended with the B. Sorry, I mean with the B. Yeah, it's, uh, Corey I swear Taylor I only had two beers. I swear, I only, I swear I only had two beers. <laughs> but uh, that one for me, like I like it. It's great musically. It's all very well done. But it's not what I would listen to. It's a little bit too. Well, there's certain types of screaming that I like, and that one kind of leads more of the direction that I'm not really into. But. Uh solid fucking band and it, they sound great it's just not for me so when something's not for me it doesn't mean that it sucks it's just not for me you know so yeah yeah you don't but, like little cory you don't like little cory <laughs> is that that's, that's who that Corey's that's who that son. is that yeah, is the yeah, the drummer is yeah okay uh, oh see dude and i knew that i know the name of that band it didn't register that that's who that was though oh interesting i'm gonna have to check i i haven't checked out a lot of their stuff though so i'm gonna have to listen to see what else he does you know so yeah does he do any singing like his dad as well like actual singing or does he just yeah i think no he does sing for his dad right one more time pretty soon he's gonna be singing for his dad right I think that's <laughs> probably the plan. Eventually, dude, probably, I, sure I would not happen. be surprised if their their kids just took over, dude. That'd be cool. I don't know. I don't know, man. But they all have to be. But they all have to be robot versions of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they already have the number zero, one, two, three, four, five. Right. Well, there's already a zero, so <laughs> uh, they have to battle it out. <laughs> yeah. What about you? What about you, Rob? What you think of the song? I didn't get a chance to hear this one. No. Okay. Anybody else? No, anybody I ask you to hear the solo? I don't have. Yeah, I, mean, I liked it. Um, it seemed to me. It seemed to me a little. Uh, I think on the production side, it, it seemed like it, it didn't have a whole lot going on, as far as like synth or anything like that, which mm. I kind of really enjoyed because I feel like a lot of bands that are coming out with stuff, it's just full of it, you know. So mm. I kind of enjoyed hearing <laughs> it, be it, where where it was just <laughs> kind of more raw, I guess. So, yeah, yeah, dude. Josh, 
It was cool. I've heard of the band before. I followed them. I agree with Rob on, I honestly think that they're going to land up becoming Slipknot members if Slipknot continues on because that was kind of their plan of the machine continuing and just band members changing. Why not have your son take over singing? And then the other one, his son happens to be the drummer of that band, so that could be another percussionist. But I do agree with Danny on this track is not as produced as their other stuff. So maybe they're trying something different. Or maybe it was just, yeah, we didn't spend the money on this track. Who knows? But yeah, they didn't have no 40 different layers of tracks on one song. Yeah, like I said, it was real, just kind of raw, which, like I said, I enjoyed it. But there were times I was listening to it and I was like, where, where is all this other stuff? And it wasn't there, which, like I said, it's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. They do put on a pretty good live show, though, from what I've seen. Oh, yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Well, are you, Dustin? Did you hear it? Or Yeah, same as the other one, though. Like, it yeah. was driving still, so it sounded... I, 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 I like a couple of their other songs, so I'll check it out more later. For sure. Yeah. That, that was literally going to ask you if you had heard any of the other stuff. I don't think I've heard a lot of their other stuff yet. So, like, I like I knew that they, that they had formed the band, and I knew that they were doing stuff, but I other than, like, clips of like live shows or whatever it is like the, I haven't really listened to like a full song other than today. So I got to go back and listen to their other stuff. Do they have a full Ooh. album or are they just doing like singles or. Okay. Like they may have like, it's similar to what we did where it's a couple drop singles. And then I think they have like an EP out or maybe an LP, sure. but I don't think they have a full album out yet. For sure. But do they have a, a link at the bottom like us? <laughs> like where you could. Like followers. Speaking, speaking of links, speaking of links, you guys, you can check out all the links in our bio. Help us out there. You guys, this has been the last days of Warcast. Um, check us out. We appreciate all the love and support. Keep streaming our music, keep sharing it, and we'll see you guys next week. We're out.